Well, what do you know? Anyhow, I'm going to teach you about equal values method. Just let me set this off to the side. Okay. Equal values method works when you have one variable all by itself in both equations. So this has equal values method written all over it. Okay. All you got to do, since y's are equal to each other, I can take this and substitute it right in there. So 3x plus 4 equals 2x minus 3. And then we could solve for x. Again, by the way, we're looking for an ordered pair that satisfies both equations. So if I subtract 2x, by the way, when you have variables on both sides, always move the smaller variable. You'll save yourself a lot of aggravation. Some, I think some kids believe you always got to move the variable to the left. That doesn't make any sense to me. If you move the smaller variable, you'll never wind up with a negative variable. So if I bring the x's to the left, I got to bring the numbers to the right. So I'm going to do that. And the reason I do it all in once is that I get to go the double. Okay. So 3x minus 2x is x. Negative 3, take away 4 is negative 7. So that's my x value. To find the y value, I'm going to put into either equation. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do this one y equals 2 times negative 7 minus 3. All I did is I substituted negative 7 right into there. So y equals negative 14 minus 3, y equals negative 17. Now, I'm pretty confident that's correct, but let's just double check my answer. If I take negative 17 and pop it in there, does that equal 3 times negative 7 plus 4? That something doesn't feel right. Oh, 3 times negative 7 plus 4. Well, what is, uh, can you see it? Negative 17, 3 times, that is negative 21, plus 4 is negative 17. It checks. Let's check this one. I'll leave myself a little more room. Y is negative 17. Does it equal 2 times negative 7 take away 3? Negative 17 equals, that's negative 14. Negative 14 take away 3. Negative 17 equals negative 17. Now we know we are 100% correct.